Can you believe these models are AI generated? Maybe you can. But what about textures? As we know, AI cannot generate this level of detail on textures. But things have changed. A week ago, I saw this page on X. I checked the images and thought, this is either something major or a lie because it was looking too good to be true. So I contacted the developers and asked for early access to test it out. Even though it wasn't released at that time, they granted me early access. I appreciate their gesture. Thus, I will be able to try it and show you something interesting. I generated some models and turns out it's not a lie. It is something major. I will show you some models from the gallery, then show you my generated models. Because on the website, only the best looking models are being shown. The AI model is YY3D and it can generate models from both images and text prompts. The biggest power of this AI model is 4K texture generation. So this is what I'm gonna focus on throughout the video. The first model, textures are crazy good. Not only that, they are also PBR, which means metallic parts are more shiny and the wooden parts are less shiny. Here we have one more model. As I zoom in, the level of detail impresses me. Check out the mutant model. Holy smokes. Is it perfect? No. Can we fix small issues on the textures real quick and use it as an asset? Definitely yes. Let's see this one. I'm zooming in and the textures are really, really good. I would say this 3D model is ready for production because I can't see any issues on either the model or the textures. Okay, now let's check the models that I generated. Beer cups. I generated this one by using a prompt and the foam is looking really good even though we have a weird shape here. Here's another one with a handle. It's looking really well. I can easily fix minor texture issues. After that, it's ready to go. The details on the wood and foam still impresses me. <laughs> one thing I noticed is that if you use a prompt instead of reference image, the model turns out even better. You can try the AI model easily using the link I provided. Shield model, looking pretty well. Some small parts are missing texture, but I can easily fix them in Adobe Substance Painter using the clone tool. You can test the AI model for free, but if you want to use real 4K quality, you'll need more credits. Right now, fast 4K quality gives us one free generation chance, but you can generate up to three models using the 1K preset. Also, this video is not sponsored by them. I just found it interesting and wanted to show you. Feel free to open their website, check their gallery page for generated models or generate your own. Devs recently contacted me and introduced a few upcoming features. I wanted to mention them on my channel. They are working on a feature where you can bring your own model and their AI will texture it with high quality textures and materials. They are also adding polygon control so users can choose to create high quality meshes as well. Polygon can be adjusted from 3K to 200K, which will allow for much more detailed meshes. And last but not least, they are working on a native engine support for Blender, Unreal Engine and Unity. This will make game developers' lives a lot easier. As a full-time 3D artist, I'm constantly following 3D and AI developments. I'm pretty sure there will be even bigger and groundbreaking news. If you want to be one of the first to know, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks in advance. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch.